that's a loss yes that one is a loss that trade right there that's a loss man that's a loss that's a l that we took that's an l and we only want this well youtube youtube family traders entrepreneurs and everyone out there who click on this video this is her boy hello and i'm back with another video today's video gonna be a trade breakdown video on okay i didn't want to let you guys know that i also took a win on two trades that i took yesterday london session pre-new york session right so those two trades are mainly based on how i trade how I look for market opportunities and how I look for op and, and how I execute my trades, right? So before I get any further with the video, I beg that you smash the like button, that you subscribe to the channel if you're new. But if you're a returning subscriber, but also if you're new to the channel, click the click the like button i repeat subscribe to the channel share the video comment on the video and most of all click the links in my description to sign up with the brokers that i use and to check the daily live blogs that i recently dropped they cool they far the educational and they most of all useful right so yesterday i took two trades i repeat usd cad which was on the london session a london open well i want to make you guys understand reasons into why i don't like trading currencies during um market open like london session the asian session the sydney session the new york session and the other session that i don't know of right so i wasn't i'm not i'm not mad that i took an l yesterday but i want to make you guys understand that this is inevitable you'll never win every trade that you execute or you rather would i say you'll never get a hundred percent win rate from every setup that you execute the market might show you that we're going up and you go up and you anticipate what a movement going up but as soon as you execute a trade price goes against you and goes down now as a trader you need to ask yourself two things were you wrong in the trade or did all the rules that you work on where they all applied before you took that trade if you feel like you were wrong then you need to see why you were wrong go look for your look go look go general that trade look at the rules that you took and the rules that you based this entry before you executed it before you can just blame yourself for taking trades um, um for taking um l's while they never just bet l's they just go l's but you're just mad because it's an l right so let's break let, let, let's break down this trade because i feel like i've been capping too much so this trade yesterday when i woke up yesterday around five around 7 8 a.m okay i saw that price is looking to do it to move to the upside to the downside from from this higher high higher low higher high higher low and the higher high and the higher low and the higher high and a deeper pullback anticipation that anticipating that for our higher low formation in the anticipation of a continuation to the upside so when i woke up 7 a.m 8 a.m i looked at the charts and i was like okay this is our previous um this are our previous highs this high and this high those are our two previous highs right so when i saw that okay we have our two previous highs that price did what broke above creating a high and came back below for this deeper pullback higher low formation anticipating it so when i now saw that okay now price is kind of doing what trading below the previous two zones the previous zone that i anticipated or the previous highs that we that price violated i saw that okay price is now clo closed above when i now saw that okay our london open we have a candlestick that closed above this very same candlestick we can see that okay this candlestick closed above our what our highs those two highs and this current market price high right if you don't want to look at the um, overall picture just focus on this high we have we have price creating this high and creating this low and violating this very same high closing above that very same high so why so the candle immediately after the candlestick closed on our london open the 10 a.m candlestick the minute the candlestick closed on our london open anticipated that okay from this higher high higher low 
price might be looking to do what to continue to the upside based on what on our bullish market open on our bullish london open candlestick that closed bullish right and then that's why i simply took this trade right so the minute right after i took this trade price did what took me in price actually triggered me in this trade I, I don't trade um um limits and stops i trade um instant execution so the minute price um triggered my entry level that's when i took this trades above this candlestick that's when i took this trades so right after i took this trades it faked out price just faked out so for obviously from this bullish candlestick on our london open and the coming candlestick anticipating a continuation to the upside price did what faked out in some terms price actually didn't favor my setup i was never wrong price just didn't favor my anticipation do you guys get that so i took this l 14 pips it was inevitable there was nothing that i was gonna do about it so i took this l right so let's break down how i took this trade because i always let you guys understand why i took this trade higher high higher low We're in the higher high higher low structure price created and higher high and a higher low and created another higher high and another higher low and another higher high and a deeper pullback anticipating a higher low right so right after the candlestick closed right after the candlestick violated our what our two highs that we were anticipating to trade bullish above price did what closed above so right after we closed above price faked out that bullish break out and price did what moved to the downside and traders lost right but I'm, but fortunately this wasn't shared on my training um, on my discord and in my telegram groups this is what i did on my own because i know that some trades they risk into trades but we just have to execute because we are traders we, we don't have to be scared of executing right so that's how i took this 14 pip loss yesterday so moving to the nas because wifey always got the juice wifey always got the bag wifey always doing moves right so when you now look at the nest the nest was very much simple right so the nest prices created this low and this push phase creating a high in an exhaustion phase creating another low and a push phase creating another high and an exhaustion phase creating another low and a push phase breaking above some major zones right anticipating the word so once price violated once price broke above our zone that's when i anticipated that okay this bullish structure is now being confirmed in order for me to confirm that we are looking to continue moving up can i at least get a candle closed that it will close above our word above our major zone right so when you look at it you can tell that okay 8 a.m. 8 a.m. candlestick, which was pre-London, we closed above. The 9 a.m. candlestick was an indecision, an indecision candlestick. The other coming stick, the other coming candlestick was also an indecisive and indecision candlestick, right? So the third candlestick, which was 11 a.m. 11 a.m. candlestick closed bullish. So once this candlestick closed bullish, that's when I saw that okay, this bullish structure is now looking to do it to pass or to be formed correctly so runs this candlestick closed bullish that's when i anticipated that if it happens that price does what has a break above and comes back for a retest above then i would look to continue moving up or if it happens that this very same content this very same um 11 a.m candlestick if we can get a violation on our coming candlestick then i'll anticipate what a move to the upside right so let me repeat one you can tell the price created a low and a high a low and a high a low and a high so once we had a bullish candlestick which closed above our major zone we anticipated that if it happens that we trade above the bullish candlestick that closed above our zone we're just simply going to look forward a continuation moving up do you guys get that so when you look at it when you look i took tp here this was my initial tp okay this was my first tp and this was my initial tp so right after price hit my target i was like ah you know what i'm just comfortable with what the market gave me let me just take it 
and be out right but i could have took here and here and even look forward for the new all-time high but we don't we're not greedy we're just sticking to our rules applying our rules and following our rules and making sure we don't go against our rules that's when i took this word this 40 pip trade on the nest do you guys get that so when i sum it up for you guys we created a low and a high and a low and a high and a low and a high and a bullish candlestick closing above our major zone and the coming candlestick trading above the bullish candlestick that closed above our zone anticipating a further move to the upside and that was it do you guys get that so these trades were never easy they were never hard it was only based on one thing The mindset. The mindset is always power. The mindset helps. The mindset builds. The mindset also destroys. It also it mainly based on you as a trader. How is your conscious when you're in trades? How is your conscious when you're outside trades? How are you when you're outside trading? How are you when you're inside trading? That's when the mindset will prove itself that are you a good trader? Or are you a fucked up trader? But without further ado, I guess you enjoyed the video. I guess you liked on the video. I guess you subscribe to the channel. I guess you share the video. You comment on the video. You share the video. You click the links on my description to sign up with the brokers that I use. And to most of all, check the daily live vlogs that I recently dropped. Or hit my line if you want to talk Forex, do Forex, or anything Forex. I'm up for a vibe. I'm up for anything. But without further ado, the support holler. That's all I got in this video.